Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to point Daphne emulator to your frame file um, text files to get your games launching. So first thing you're going to want to do is go into Hyper PC, go into emulators, and go into the Daphne 1.0 folder. And we're going to open up Daphne Loader. So once that launches, uh, you may get this here. You can just I just close it. Uh, basically, what we're going to want to do is highlight. Uh, we'll use Astron Belt as an example. So highlight the game that you want. Click Configure, and make sure you're on the Game uh, slash Laser Disc tab, and click Configure Laser Disc. So under virtual LaserDisc player options, you're going to want to have it to say no, I will install any missing video audio files manually. And then for your MPEG frame file location, hit browse. And just go into your Hyper PC folder, ROMs, and Daphne. And for this one, I'm going to go into the astron.daphne. And there is the text file. So I'll highlight that, click open. Now I'm going to click apply, OK, apply, OK. And let's make sure it launches through Daphne Loader. Uh, I have the command line turned on, so I would just click OK. Okay, so there it is launched. So I'm going to close it. And then in Daphne Loader, I'm going to go to File and hit and go to Exit. So now let's make sure it launches through HyperPy PC. So I'm going to launch my HyperPy PC. Let's see, I got to find my Daphne. There it is, Daphne, and we did Astron Belt. So I'll launch Astron Belt. And there it is. So that's how you point um, Daphne Loader to your uh, frame files. So hopefully this helps you guys out and gets Daphne up and running for your HyperPi PC. Um, have a good day.